Tonight, for the first time, you'll hear the rest. Superstar Whitney Houston talks about her marriage, her baby, and those nasty rumors. Next, on Conversation. If ever there's been an every woman, she's it. She's been America's sweetheart, a patriotic symbol, and now she's a movie star. But Whitney yeah. Houston's biggest role is ahead. I sat down with this newlywed and expectant mother in New York recently, and for the first time, she talked about her marriage to fellow superstar Bobby Brown and the baby they're expecting in March. We also talked about her movie debut opposite Kevin Costner. Houston plays superstar singer Rachel Moran, who is stalked by a crazed fan. Costner is the bodyguard who protects her and also falls for the singer. The movie opened to big numbers, $23 million the first weekend, but many critics panned the movie and Houston. I wondered what she thought of the criticism. Uh, you know, I mean, you expect that, you know. Um, like we were talking about earlier, you can find anything wrong with anything, but you look for it hard enough, you know. The thing that uh, is the worst thing about anything that you do, you put your time and hard work into something, and then somebody goes, no, I didn't like that, didn't like that, didn't like that, you know. So, you know, I think that's the worst about it. Was it at all rough for you, though, to sit down and, and read some of the criticism? Because in your professional career, you haven't been faced with that very much in terms of singing. I mean, nobody ever wrote, really, that you couldn't oh, sing. Please, you can. You should, you should have been around. <laughs> uh, you get used to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been criticized about my singing. Um, I've been criticized to the degree where people have uh, said, uh, so, you know, I, when I did the Star Spangled Banner, it was in question, was that really me singing? You know, um, I don't know. I think that, uh, you know, when you do something as major as a, as a film, you know, I, I didn't just get a little part, I got a big part. <laughs> I had to play opposite Kevin Costner. I think it leaves you open for a lot of things, especially criticism. As you reflect, yeah. and I know that, that you've been offered other movie parts prior to this one, do, do you think now, without saying it was a mistake or the best thing to do, do you think now that this was the best vehicle you could have taken for your first film? I think so, Ed. I think it was um, the best thing for me, you know, um, coming from music into movies. It's a very, um, can be very detrimental, you know. Uh, you can do a film and um, can be really bad, you know. Um, I was very careful about what I chose to do. I, I looked at several scripts. I mean, people had already uh, <laughs> starred me in movies, you know. She's going to be a dream girl. No, she's going to be Josephine Baker. No, she's going to do this, she's going to do that. I didn't want to do any of that, you know. Um, I wasn't in any hurry to do a film. I wanted to do a good project. It, the, the part didn't have to be major. It could have been something very small, you know, as long as it was something that I knew that I could make believable, you know. The part was believable because Houston plays Rachel Moran, a music superstar. Houston said while she wasn't playing herself, she could relate to the character. I wondered if, like her character, she could relate to being stalked by a crazed fan. When you get to a, a point of popularity, a lot of your uh, privacy, your life is taken from you. But um, you give it up if this is what you want to do. You know, you make a choice, you know. And it's better to know what, you know, that choice entails than to jump into it and say, I want to be a star, you know. I knew what the deal was when I got into it, you know. I have family who, were, who was very knowledgeable of the business, you know. What you don't bargain for is the fact that you may get one or two people, you know, that say, man, I love her so much, I hate her, <laughs> you know. Or I just can't stand her, or, you know, whatever the extreme is, you know, um, I have had that. 
I also wondered if she was concerned about the backlash she might get from having an on-screen interracial romance. Yeah, I know. I know that, that's something that could be criticized. I mean, but how old and tired can it be? I mean, that issue is so old and it's so tired. It's just, I mean, let's milk the black and white issue. Let's milk it some more, you know. <laughs> it's enough is enough. <laughs> I also asked Whitney how she prepared for the movie. I watch Lauren Bacall movies, you know, because I love Lauren Bacall. I think she's pretty tough, you know. So I watched her movies, you know, and I watched how she acted, you know, and how she responded and stuff like that. And I watched, I watched Kevin. You know, Kevin was really um, somebody that um, I could have on set. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he was coaching me in a sense, but he was in it with me, you know. I mean, I couldn't ask for better, you know. Um, I had asked if, if they wanted me to get a coach and, and acting, you know, and stuff, and they said no, that they didn't think it was necessary, you know. But if this should ever come apart, you know, that comes my way that I think, you know, yeah, well, I have to do some research in it, you know, and I need some, sure, I, I'd definitely be down for it. A lot of people who do movies, once they see the movie, feel that it was different than they thought it was going to be going in and mm. while they were on the set. Really? I'm wondering what you thought. <laughs> Is the movie that we see in the theaters the movie you thought it would be? Honestly, Miss Houston? <laughs> Um, yes, it is, because I was told that when I did this movie, that it would be a movie that I could be proud of, and I am. Up next, husband Bobby Brown and those nasty rumors. I wouldn't marry anybody I didn't love, you know, and if it was for any other reason, then... You can believe I wouldn't be married. 